Hi guys, it's Lisa. Gonna show you a quick video on how to put a recipe into Relish using a cookbook and your iPhone. Okay, just to start, I'm gonna go to my Relish account and I've created a shortcut on my phone, so I've made it into an icon, which I can show you guys a little bit later. And then I'm gonna go to recipes and here are all the recipes that I've saved so far. And so now I wanna add this chicken, avocado, and mango salad from this, one of my favorite cookbooks called Salad for Dinner. Um, and you'll notice that this recipe has the ingredients in two columns. So I'm gonna be able to do that and I'll show you how. I picked it because it's a little bit harder than a regular recipe. Okay, so the first thing I do is I hit the plus button I'm a Relish Plus member, so I can add recipes from cookbooks. And I'm not gonna pick import recipe with a URL. I'm gonna pick new recipe. So I'm gonna type the title in, chicken, avocado. That's nice, because you can also use spell, spelling. Um, correction and mango salad. And then I like to put the page number because um, that I can refer back to it. So this is page 140 of this cookbook. Okay, then for the source, I always delete my name. You can keep it if you want. And I put the name of the cookbook, Salad for Dinner Cookbook. And that way I know it came from my library and I can go back to the page. Okay, then for a photo, I hit add photo, take photo. And I just usually try to get a kind of a squarish photo um, here. Just so I can remember what it looks like. Use photo. If it doesn't have a photo, you can always use the cover of the cookbook too, because if you're like me, you remember your cookbook, cookbooks by the covers and the colors. Okay, then for prep, cook, and total time, they don't have this in this re recipe book. So I'm just gonna put 30 minutes, because this is a really easy recipe that I usually make with a rotisserie chicken. And I'm gonna skip prep and cook time. I can just put total time. For servings, it says four, so I'm gonna put four in. Difficulty, I'm gonna give it an easy because with rotisserie chicken, it's super easy. Okay, ingredients. Now this is the most important part. I'm in the ingredient section. Now I hold my finger down and it says scan text. And so I hit scan text and then I go over here and you'll see the little box pop up for the, for the ingredients and I go insert. And there you go, it inserted that first section right there in. So I'm gonna check it, eight cups mixed greens, 12 ounces shredded cooked chicken. Um, and then I'm gonna delete this note because I don't want, the less notes in here, the better. So I don't need this note, see recipe, blah, 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 for roast chicken. Um, two firm ripe mangoes peeled, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna go over here and now I need the next sec section of text. So I'm gonna hit that again. I'm gonna hit that little icon because that shows that you're inserting text. And I'm gonna go to the next one, insert. Okay, and then I'm gonna read that part. Two small avocados, onion, roasted cashews, two small minced fresh cilantro, and then a vinaigrette. Oh, and for the vinaigrette, I think I'm gonna delete this. Okay, page 39 because I'm just gonna throw the vinaigrette in here. Fresh cilantro, I just accidentally deleted that. So the good news is you can type it back in. And then I'm gonna say dressing, Let's see if this works. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna look at the lime ancho vinaigrette and I'm gonna do the same thing, I think. And I'm gonna get that section. 
And I can kind of see that that worked. So I'm gonna go here, get that section. Insert. Okay, and then, so now I have all the ingredients. I'm gonna say done. Now I'm gonna go to directions. Now I don't know if I actually need directions for this super simple salad, but just to show you guys how to do directions, which I think you're probably getting the hang of this now. I can go back, I can hit this, scan text, and now I can go to the part that's the directions and see it has the little yellow lines around it. Can you guys see that? That's showing what it's about to scan. So I don't, if I, if I don't see the yellow lines in the right place, I wait until the camera, see the camera just move from that section to that section, and then I go insert. And now that's just inserted the directions. Now I can also go down here and put notes if I want but I don't really have any, so I'm gonna hit save. And that just added chicken, avocado, mango salad to my recipe box. Now I can hit that and I can look, and there's all my directions. There's the dressing all together. Lovely, done. I'm so proud of myself. So 